Hey, what's up, guys? Alessio here for Virtual Insanity Effects, and today we're gonna make this gruesome headshot in After Effects. Inspired by the amazing guys from Film Riot. Let's jump into it. First thing we notice right here, we have this beautiful face, which is my face, I know, it's beautiful, and uh, we have this video. Why you have to shoot me? No, 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 no. Oh. And there we go, and I fall. This is a very quick, simple clip. And as you guys have noticed, I have... Ooh, sorry. I have this mark on my forehead, so we can track it with Track Motion or Mocha AE or any software that you like to use it. First thing first, we need to track this thing. Right, so, we select our clip, we go to Track Motion, and we tick Position and Rotation. So we're gonna place our quadrant right here, something like it. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here, I'm just gonna speed it up in a bit, but um, because it's gonna be not too long, but you know, I just don't wanna waste your time, guys. So I'm gonna use this point, beautiful nose, as a second point for the rotation, and let's track this bad boy. And I'll be back soon, so now it's gonna be super, super fast. Ta-da! And there we go. So we have our tracker done. Let's give it a double check. And it is following, it's following, following, following. I did a lot of tweaking, actually, of course, in the meantime. Uh, I was kind of tedious, but I got it done mostly. So good luck with that. And moving on, <laughs> we're going to activate our let's say let's cover marker thing, whatever. That's this simple A right there. And we're gonna actually mask it just a tiny bit. And solo it. I create a little mask around it. Doesn't have to be precise, just uh, so we can have some smooth edges um there we go double tap on m i'm gonna feather it and let's see the result let's do that again so yeah feathering is all right so now we're gonna just parent the the frame retouch to our marker and let's see if it follows it does follow why you have to shoot me? Because you're an no. idiot. No, 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 no. There you go. You're dead. Oh. Okay, there are a few bits that we need to sort out. And to do that, it's not too difficult. It's just a little bit of tweaking as well. It's just a little bit of tweaking again. Um, in order to do that, what I did before was just turning the, the, the frame retouch layer into a 3D layer. So, and also changing the uh, anchor point so we can move it a little bit better so let's uh, hide with the control shift hr guides and everything so i can see better and we can see where the artifacts are there we go there's one it's rotating so we need to tweak the rotation of that so i'm gonna press r and i'm just gonna literally click um, a keyframe on the orientation and moving on right there I'm just going to literally put it back where it was, sort of, maybe that was too much, let's go that frame, let's go back again, yeah, it looks pretty good, um, and then, of course, clearly here, it's not rotating at all, so what we need to do is just go where I kind of stop bending, and I think it should be right there. So we're going to literally rotate that. We're gonna need to scale it down as well. Let's do one thing at a time, right? Shall we? So we're just rotating. Probably wanna move it back a little bit. Just gonna rotate faster. Yeah, looks pretty good. And after that, we're gonna go and press Shift S on the keyboard and we have to scale. Uh, we're gonna set a keyframe right there. We're gonna scale it down when it goes there, and until we don't see that marker, I think it looks pretty okay like this. Let's see, yeah. And then when it comes back, we need to tweak again. So we're gonna 
scale it up again, probably move it, so shift P on a keyboard, and move it in uh, yeah, that direction, and also the rotation, something, you know, just tweak it a little bit until it looks alright, you see, there is a tiny thing right there, so probably just the position, yeah, and of course when it comes down again, we need to move it up or down or you know scale yeah something like that and let's move it when I of course the rotation that was my bad rotation yeah the rotation is to be set back again so slowly boom still not perfect but you know, a little bit of tweak. Kings here and there. With the position. Oh, come on up, dude. There we go. Actually, the position, I didn't even press the key for him, so. Hmm. That's my bad. Anyway, you got it. And so there we go. What we need to do right now is attach our wound layer. But also, I'm going to tweak a little bit the mask. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to just to see it um, yeah maybe the expansion a little bit and the mask up no that is not good there you go something like it that should be alright cool uh, let's see yeah still of course there is some tweaking right there so let's do that rotation we're going to rotate this baby and it's actually right there so yeah it's tricky there but we're gonna blur it anyway because I'll show you if I activate the motion blur ta -da! see boom problem solved well yeah it's flickering a little but you know tweak 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 just tweak it okay guys just tweak it and you're gonna be fine <laughs> Alright, so let's import our wound, the flesh wound, from the gunshot. And bang! There it is! We got it! Nice! So we're gonna place it right up uh, somewhere. That's pretty big, so we're gonna scale it down a tiny bit. Uh, I would say something like that. Also, rotate it. You know, guys, this is up to you, probably. Something like this. I'm just gonna try to put it like as much in the middle as possible just gonna get rid of that for a sec so I can see my marker where it was yes perfect and there we go let's increase a little bit the resolution so we can see better so let's do the same thing again so we're gonna parent the flesh wound to our marker once we're done that the beginning doesn't follow properly, so I'm just literally gonna cut it when when it's gonna start to follow. So, Why it? from here, I don't care. Why it? Yeah, in two seconds. So, I'm gonna press B on a keyboard and trim come to work area, and there we go. Why it shoot me? Let's see how it Why follows. Why it shoot me? No, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It looks pretty good. We need to tweak a little bit the rotation still um, from my um, the covering um, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the gunshot as well. We still need to tweak the rotation of both layers a little bit, but it looks pretty good already. So now we need to cut it to trim it when, the, when this one starts. So when it's there, boom! This is where I get the shot. So the flesh wound is going to be right there. I'm just going to trim it from there. Boom! This is where I get the shot, right? So, Why if you play you it... Shoot me? No, 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 no. <coughs> there we go. And I get the shot. Um, we're gonna turn it into a 3D layer as well. I'm gonna press R for rotation on the keyboard. Um, yeah, it's kind of twisted around, so we could um, go back in there, put it back again, and use the rotation tool on the Z axis just to let's make it like this so it's gonna be easy for us to tweak it tweak 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 and boom 
boom this is where i get shot we're going to, need to move it forward a little bit as well and scale it down a tiny bit like 60 percent and then we're gonna set with alt bracket to the beginning of our layer so let's press r on the keyboard for rotation and create a keyframe for the rotation for the orientation we're going to select the x-axis with the rotation tool oh come on jesus and there we go but before that i'm actually going to set a keyframe where my head is actually rotated in the right way which is better so i'm going to set a keyframe right there and i'm just going to rotate that from this point so it's going to be something like it let's see if it follows properly and i think it does I think it looks pretty good, so let's play it back quickly. Why you have to shoot me? Because you're an idiot. No, 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 no. <coughs> um, oh, okay, it looks pretty good. Uh, one thing that I really, really want to fix right now is this um, kind of weird overlapping that you kind that you can see right here, right? So let's fix that because it looks horrible. We're gonna activate motion blur for this layer too and let's see how it does there is a little bit of a rotation issue but well, whatever it's fine it's just the effect right so let's Why play this back shoot? again because you're an idiot no, again no, 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 no. <laughs> okay great now we have our gunshot in place still not perfect i know but i had some issues with the with the motion tracker for some reason so you know guys bear with me with this one but you got the the, the first test anyway so you know it's working cool so what we need to add right now is blood yeah okay i got some clips right here from video copilot and i got the this blood right here and then i got this one right here and then i got this one right here but this is for the back which i'll maybe do it in another video tutorial because it's gonna be a lot of rotoscoping and stuff so yeah let's gonna use blood burst 10 we're gonna drag it up there let's see how this one works boom all right so basically it's gonna be like when i get shot right so boom something like that maybe yeah and then we're going to move it just on top of that let's see okay to cover it boom no 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 Oh yeah, you got shot in the head, mother effer. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, looks pretty good. And what else we need to do is pressing F4 and select the da -da 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 darken mode. There we go. The blood looks a little bit better in darken mode. See, if I put it to normal, boom. Darken mode, yeah, looks better. So, boom boom great so we need and we want some blood coming out of the wound so how are we gonna do that that's pretty easy we're gonna use the same clip that we're just using right now and just drag it into a new composition I'm just gonna select like a frame that I really like when there is blood coming out I think this one it looks pretty good I'm gonna put it in full screen sorry full resolution um, I'm going to rotate it a tiny bit this is gonna be the one I want I'm gonna mask it for example I want to use just this part so something like that and there we go mask it and double M feather a tiny bit mask expansion to right and we can call this one dripping blood there we go i'm going to time and i'm going to freeze the frame perfect i'm going to drag and drop this one above i'm going to move it up in there and this is the point where i want the blood to come out so i'm just going to move it right there i'm going to scale it down a tiny bit not too much a rotation I got the anchor point not tweaked perfectly, so I'm gonna tweak, 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 tweak that one too. It's all tweaking, guys. Literally, it's just gonna be tweaking and tweaking. So I'm gonna scale it down a little bit again. 
I'm going to mask it more because I need to use... Um, I want to see the blood coming out. But before I do that, I need to parent this one to our marker. And now it will follow. And that's magic. Woohoo! There we go. Still not perfect, I know. But, you know. There we go. So, in order to animate it, we need a mother mask. So, we're going to create an, any kind of mask. It's fine. We're going to click on the mask path, give it a keyframe and move it to the end right there and at the beginning I'm just gonna literally animate this one like this which is gonna like come out of the wound it looks horrible I know but look at that there we go let's see it like this you know what actually we can trim the the frame right here this one that covers my face just right there yeah, we can do that, it's fine. And we can increase our wound a tiny bit. So scale, like, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Why you have to shoot me? Because you're an idiot. Yeah, I understand, it's not really perfect, but you know, guys, apologies for this, because it's not like that I do video tutorial like every day, and also when I did my test, it took me more and more time. I did dig into it a little, but you know, um, nobody's perfect, but if you like it so far and uh, you know, you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, whatever, even mean comments, I accept them, it's fine, that's YouTube, right, so no problem. What we need to do next, it's you know, just some color correction, you know, adjust the colors here and there. We can do that, but I'm pretty sure you guys can do that by yourselves. Um, for example, like I did in here, you know, this is the main shot. You know, as you can see, it's a little bit more complicated. There are more things. And also there is the blood behind, which I did with the rotoscoping. So I did a lot of work in here. Um, yeah, I did a lot of work in there. So well, it was really fun. So you can add that too. Um, I think the tutorial is over, and I really like to thanks. Um, I really like to thanks the guys from Film Riot because they're really, really funny. I really like them; they're really professional. I really like their stuff, and I'm gonna make a, a short really soon, just to see if I can get it. <laughs> and again, if you like the video tutorial, if you want to comment, if you want to subscribe, that will kind of help me because I'm gonna make better tutorials from now on. Because I understand that this video tutorial wasn't really brilliant and perfect especially the tracking I had a little bit of issues I have to admit it uh, but you guys get the idea and also you got the the original shot which I'm gonna show you right now why you have to shoot me because you're an idiot so yeah basically that's what it is it's um, it's kind of funny I think and uh, I added of course some sound effects like the gunshot uh, me falling on the floor and camera shake, color correction, the splat in the background, I did a lot of rotoscoping and then some color correction and this is what you get. Um, it took me probably 3-4 hours maybe to do it, this test properly and uh, the video tutorial of course it's a little bit different, uh, it's just to show you guys the technique. Also the tracking system could have been done in a uh, Mocha AE or with the face tracking uh, motion, the new one with the face features and many ways to do that but so overall I think you get the tutorial so it was fun to do it was just like a project I was inspired by the guys from Film Riot so that was pretty fun to do and again please support me if you liked it I promise I'm gonna be better so subscribe comment and drop a like and hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next video tutorial bye for now